Welcome to lesson number four in the Rose Engine Shop. This is a muckle chuck. It's an epicycloidal chuck, which means it's running off of a gear on the back, picked up by another gear that changes the ratio from three to one, and it's also running off center if you want it to run off center. This is a great chuck. Uh, some people have said that it's a poor man's geometric chuck, and this is how it works. If you watch what's happening, the little gear is running around the large gear, and it's also rocking on a rosette that I call a puffy star. So it's making small puffy stars on the guilloche cutter. As the guilloche cutter revolves, the line just continues. It's one continuous line for 144 cranks. At 144 cranks, the line is absolutely back where it started. And it creates a beautiful pattern and a little bit more explanation of what we've got going. This is a two-jaw chuck on the front of the muckle chuck. So, the part is easy to hold and easy to use and comes off quickly and gives you a beautiful pattern. The patterns are different depending on how you set up the chuck and where the position of the cross slide is. You'll note that I'm using a cross slide instead of a slide rest because as I'm using a diamond tool and a purling bit, I'm running this in and out. I have left and right. So you don't need a slide rest when you have a cross slide on a newer machine. So slide rests are nice, but a cross slide and a purling tool will do just as well for this type of engine turning. Thanks for coming, and we'll see you next time in the Rose Engine Shop.